So today we're going to be taking a look at what JSON Web Tokens is. JSON Web Tokens is a way of sending data and make sure that somebody has not tampered with it. Right in here, I have a little example. The first thing is that we just require JSON Web Tokens. You can work with JSON Web Tokens in pretty much any language. You can see here, it's crazy how many languages, like it just goes on and on and on and on. Today we're going to be working with Node. So we will just take this, we'll sign this. So we'll sign this object. This could be any object and we'll sign it with our secret, which is secret, not that secret. And what we'll get out of that is if they will get this long, 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 long string here, which just looks like a bunch of random letters. It's not, you will see later. We'll just copy that for later. And then after that, we'll take that token and verify it. So we'll take that token there we generated. Usually we would not generate this in the same program. I will talk about that later. And then we'll just use our secret to verify that the token was encrypted using the secret and they will just print out the decoded message will just be email action unsubscribe let's say that we didn't know the secret or let's say that somebody's malicious tried to encode this and they did not know our secret so they thought that the secret was secret one two three when they encrypt it you can see that we get data has been tampered with because they tried to encrypt the data using a different secret than the secret that we have so they cannot generate this message they will be able to view all of the content of it but they will not be able to make it now where this is useful is let's say you have an unsubscribe system so the user goes in on the website, he says, I want to unsubscribe. He gets an email with a URL, which has this JSON web token in the URL as a get parameter, which the server generated using a known secret to the system. Now the user now goes in on the link and the service unsubscribing now knows the secret and can now verify that that command has been generated by the server and is therefore valid and should therefore perform the action of unsubscribing. Since this is a public URL, somebody else could just go in and change the email and unsubscribe pretty much all of the users. But when the system checking for if it should unsubscribe would just say, well, no, yeah, I can see the Bob stands there and unsubscribe stands there, but this is not encrypted by me. Therefore, I'm not gonna perform the action. To take a further look at this, let's go back here on the website and we copy it, this token, remember, and we'll just paste it in here. Now you can see that it says signature verified. Now, the reason why I can say that is down here, I pasted in our secret. So now the first part of this long string of random characters is the way that we encrypted it. So type is a JSON web token. Algorithm is HS256. The next part here, the purple part here, is the actual data. So this would be the email, the action, and this, which is the time. And the last part here would be the actual secret, so the signature. Now, let's say that I wanted to change this email. This is actually base64, so I could just copy this part and just paste it in. And let's say I wanted to unsubscribe a different user and I knew this email was test at vincentlab.net and I wanted the action unsubscribe. And I now encode this. I'll get a very similar looking command here. And if I paste this in here, you can see that yes, we do get the email, but we get an invalid signature and we could then ignore this request because it's an invalid signature. So you can see that you cannot make this data unless you know the secret. You could use this as a permission token when a person or an admin or user requested access to your system, you could actually return a JSON web token to them and your system could actually trust this JSON web token to hold values like is admin, is user, because everybody would be able to easily see these values, but they would not be able to change them. So you could actually use this for a lock-in system. And this is a lot of the times JSON web tokens are used as a lock-in system because you can just send all of the permissions. Now, remember that if you change the permissions for the user, they still have the old token and they therefore still have access to all of their former permissions. So you got to be a little careful about that. But JSON web tokens is a 
really, really neat way of encrypting data and being very easily able to test that it was you or trusted vendor making this data. And it's also very easy to see the data. I hope you learned something. I know there wasn't too much coding in the tutorial, but I think JSON Web Tokens is a really cool concept. And I have also used it in Vincent Lab and it's a really cool technology to work with. So I hope you learned something today, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.